I have some placeholder text here inside of InDesign. When I select that text, you can see here in the paragraph panel, I have a value set for space after. That's what's controlling the large spacing between these paragraphs. Now I'm going to click just down here. So my cursor is flashing just here. Now let's say for whatever reason, I wish to push this text to the next line. Well, if I just press enter or return, of course, this is the result that we get. InDesign just treats that as a new paragraph, hence the large space above the text. So let's undo that. What we need to do is insert a forced line break, also called a soft return. So with my cursor just here, up under the type menu, insert break character, forced line break. And sure enough, the text is pushed to the next line, but we don't have that giant space this time because InDesign still considers all of this to be a single paragraph. Now I'm going to click to get my cursor just here. And this time, let's look at the keyboard shortcut. So we know we press enter or return to take a new paragraph in InDesign. But if you hold down the shift key and click on that same button, you will get that forced line break. So holding down shift, pressing enter or return, sure enough, the text jumps to the next line, but it's still once again considered part of the same paragraph. So that's the forced line break here inside of InDesign, also called a soft return. I hope that helps. Catch you later.